that's the thing that I like most lead into when I'm teaching workshops about you know demystifying oracle reading is just to say these cards are made out of paper all of the wisdom all of the power it's all in you it's what you bring to it and a lot of people are skeptical it, it comes in two sides there's people that are skeptical because they're like these stupid cards they can't teach me anything it's like you're totally right but they are a tool for you to inspect what arises in yourself. And then there's the other side of people that really, really over believe in oracles and think that there's wisdom that's contained in the oracles that isn't in them. And like, this is somehow going to tell the future or, you know, I don't know, like for me, I'm not in a place to draw a card until I can get centered in my own self, in my agency, in my sovereignty and feel like, ah, this is, this is a tool for me to inspect what's going on. And if I can't feel myself, if I like, for example, if I sit down to read a card and I'm all frantic, it's a good checkpoint for me to go, oh, right. I am a mess right now. I am spinning. I am dizzy. I haven't drank water. It's just this checkpoint for me to check in with myself and go, what is, what is even happening? Why am I so spun out? I need to go use the bathroom because I can't feel I can't feel my intuition when I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's too strong of a signal. I can't feel my intuition when I'm too thirsty. I can't feel my intuition when I'm my blood sugar is plummeted. And so I have to go and fix those things. And sometimes I don't even, you know, choose to draw a card. Uh, once I've sorted that stuff out, that was all I wanted in the first place. Am I too cold? Am I too hot? Is anything poking me? Just really take care of the basics. 